In this video we'll discuss adding a ortho image as a background um, and there's two primary tools that users will use for that. Um, the first being our, our live maps tool and the second adding their own georeferenced ortho image into a terrain file and adding it in as a background. Uh, for this most important consideration is that your data is georeferenced so you want a projection assigned to it and once that's done, so usually done in your setup, but uh, when you're starting the file, but we'll just check to make sure ours is set, and it is. So if we want to use uh, our live maps tool, I'm just going to select uh, data in my data frame. I'll go to home, I'll click import, I'll click live maps. And here we are. Now with this, I could select the area that I want to bring in hit save, turn the zoom factor up to maximize my resolution, and that's going to download from the internet onto my local machine, and then it is going to save that as a JPEG, JPEG world file, put that in a train file, and it's going to add it in as a background train file to my current train file. save that and I'm going to turn up the resolution when I add it in. Now with this the data come we used a uh, Google for our data source the uh, image is inherently in lat long and it's doing the transformation for us so we don't have to worry about that. We'll hit OK, we'll hit apply transformation And there we are. Now, that is in as a background. So here I can't select that image, but if I want to toggle its behavior, I can go into my background. I can change the properties, such as washout, which is set at zero. And in this case, I'm going to remove it. So we'll get rid of that background that we have. Now the alternative workflow being if you have your own uh, ortho that you'd like to use instead of uh, imagery from Bing, uh, Google, Map, Tyler, or USGS. We can open up a new instance of terrain. We'll click insert file. I'm going to navigate to where my file stored. So I have an ECW file in this case. I'm going to turn up my resolution, projection. It's in the same projection as my data set, so that's good. And there we are. Now I'll hit File, Save As. I'm going to save it in the same folder as what I have, so just call it Private Image. And I'm going to add that into my topo as a back burner ground by right clicking my plan view, plan options, background, we'll click the plus next to that, we'll click add, add in our private image, we'll hit OK, and there we are. And in this case I don't like that washout, I'm going to adjust my washout. And there we can see that in our plan view. Now with this, uh, we can see it in the plan view. If we'd like to see it in the 3D view, regardless of uh, where we got that image from, we can click the 3D, zoom to extents, and mine is being draped right now. Now we can adjust whether that's being draped by right-clicking 3D options, toggling that on and off, or off, in this case we'll leave it on and there's additional parameters that we can change here. So right now my quality I have uh, 1.24 uh, user units per pixel. If I want to increase the resolution of that I can turn that up. And there 
here we are. And lastly, depending on your transparency or the washout factor, you may want to adjust your color so it uh, doesn't skew the coloration as much. There we are.